Hi guys, Ian from Football Boost OK OK here and today we're looking at a Mercurial Rare Gold customization special. So the Mercurial Rare Golds were made for Cristiano Ronaldo back in 2014 celebrating his third Ballon d'Or. We're going to be doing a customization of these superflies that were already blacked out. Let's put a little bit of Sharpie on the swoosh here and just black out this because we want to take this bit out and we'll be addressing the sole plate pretty soon. But the focus of this video is on Andrew from Q. he does customizations on his channel, go check him out. He is the one who decided to make a pair of Vapors in the rare gold colorway. He starts off with a bit of blue tape and he's just blacking, marking out the area to leave the black Nike swoosh. So he's going through and he's doing little bits of tape, adding them in all over the swoosh areas on the boots and that means when he gets ready to spray that area is going to stay black. The next step is to remove the laces which can be a little bit fiddly in the Mercurial Vapor and Mercurial Superflies but he gets those out of the boots and out of the way and we can start thinking about the spray painting phase. Now we had to tape up slightly differently for ours. What I decided to do was use the latest release, the CR7 Chapter 3s as a template and I can drew around the Nike swoosh and then cut out the swoosh and then attach that to the boot and that meant that we could leave that black area. Those are the blackout superflies you may have seen from our How to Blackout a Superfly video. If you haven't seen that, check it out on the channel at some point. Let's go on to the exciting part which is adding that gold. So McHugh's here and he's going to spray paint the front of his boot with the gold spray paint. Nothing special about this, just something from your hardware store and he's spraying it onto the front of the boots there. They look absolutely stunning already and we've only just started so stay tuned to see what they look like on feet and being worn and also you're going to see us customization, customizing the superflies very much inspired by Andrew and his attempts here. We thought we'd give it a go with a pair that we had in the office as well pretty much coating up the front of the boot there and it looks really sharp already, nice little close up and you can see that they just are oh, stunning. Right, it's our turn, we're gonna add the spray paint to our superflies and we're just kind of trying to mimic Andrew's attempts on the boot and putting on that little bit. What we decided to do though was add in some glitter as well. So in a moment you'll just see us sprinkling some glitter onto the boot, attempting to give it that kind of extra little bit of sparkle, here it goes. You can see it going on top there and we're just thinking we might add a little extra sparkle and try and kind of mimic that rare gold boot that came out from Nike back in 2015. It was uh, out for Ronaldo, he did wear them in a couple of games and then 333 pairs were made worldwide. One of the really stunning aspects of the boot is that sole plate with the fade from the gold at the front to the back. So the next thing we did was spray that sole plate and that's why that important blacking out of swoosh was there for this aspect. As you can see, the sole plate looks great on these. You may uh, recognize it from when we did our Stella Pack uh, Superflies, which is also customization on our channel. If you want to see that, then make sure you go check it out. The next thing I had to do was tape up the rear part of the boot, and that's because I wanted to spray paint just those four studs at the back, but leave the rest of it black. So I wrapped it up in a bag, put some blue tape on it, and then just gave it a really good spray all over. It's a pretty quick process to do that. Make sure I get all aspects of the heel, studs. So you've got two other recent boots that have been worn by Ronaldo in the background there. You've got the CR7 Chapter 3 Discoveries and also the Floodlights pack that he was in for a little bit. Right, the moment of truth, let's peel off our Nike swoosh and see what it looks like underneath. And here it goes. Actually, I think it looks very sharp. It stands out very nicely on um, the gold there. Very, very nice indeed. Probably not even necessarily going to need to touch up the uh, swoosh much. It's managed to stay pretty contained. We've learned our lesson from some of the other customizations we've done with that. Looks great. Very happy. One of the next things to do is going to be put the laces back in. Let's have a look at McHugh's swoosh. His looks awesome as well. These two different pairs of boots are really coming together now. Very nice look. McHugh has some other great customizations on his channel. Make sure you check them out. He's done like a what the uh, vapor. He's done some just blackouts. He's done an Apollo version. And then the thing he's doing now is just using a sharpie just to put a little um, kind of extra line um, around and do the trim of the Nike swoosh. Make sure that is nice and sharp. Using the sharpie just for the outline. And so the next thing to look at is that CR7 logo on the boot. Now the original rare golds, the one that Ronaldo wore, he actually had micro diamonds put on the boots. 
that didn't happen on the retail version, the ones that were 333 pairs in the world. They just had that big gold CR7 logo. We were a little unsure about what we were gonna do. Were we gonna put a big CR7 logo on our one? And in the end, we decided that we would mimic the ones that had come in these chapter three boots. And so we've gone ahead and we're gonna put CR7 just the same there. But instead of using the silver, which you see on these CR7 chapter threes, or even that you saw on the chapter two, the natural diamond, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some gold on there because we thought that would match very nicely with the rest of the gold on the boot. So all I've done is cut out the CR7, put that on with some super glue. I'm gonna wait for that super glue to dry and then I'll move on to putting some more glue on top of the C, the R and the seven and then sprinkling the gold glitter on the top again. And that's what you saw at the start of the video where there was that big kind of, as I blew, the uh, glitter off to reveal the CR7. So this is just me trying to get the C and the R and the seven just in the right place to match the ones on the real boots. Just kind of pushing them down, getting them into place. So that's the C, the R and the seven. And the next step is to add that little bit of glue on top of them. And then after that, we just sprinkle the glitter on the top. And this is a very much kind of cross your fingers moment and see what it's gonna look like. You can see the sole plate of these boots close up there and it really has worked really nice with that fade from the gold at the front to the back. Very happy with that. In 2014, uh, Ronaldo won that Ballon d'Or title. 2015, they made these uh, Superfly 4s for him. The year before, they'd given him a white pair to celebrate his Ballon d'Or of the year before. But this was really a release that people got behind. A lot of people really loved these boots. So here we go, it's the moment of truth. When I blew on this, I had no idea if the C, the R and the 7 were gonna come flying off as well, how it was gonna look. But to be honest, I was very happy with that. You can see the gold just floating in the air outside, looks stunning. And I'd like to say the same thing about this pair of boots. I think the customization has come together really well. These are the vapors on the feet of Andrew and what a job he's done with those. They look so, so sharp and he's got some few little skills to show us, a few little tricks. Um, looks really nice with the gold ball too. If you wanna see a little bit more of him in action with the boots, then make sure you check out his channel. Here are the CR7 Superfly 5 rare golds that we made on feet. Let us know what you, about, you think about these guys. If you've got any suggestions about customizations you wanna see on the channel, then make sure you drop a comment below and we will try and follow it up and do something for you. Otherwise, make sure you go and check out Andrew's channel. He really knows what he's doing with customizations. He's got some great customizations for you to see there. Uh, make sure you go give him a like, make sure you go give him a subscribe. And otherwise guys, go enjoy your football.